welcome to the round table and we are getting up there you guys i believe we're on episode 18 and we have a very special guest tonight we have the rest of our crew and i feel like such a jerk for complaining about it being hot today because everybody here is living where it's way hotter than where i'm at so let's get it kicked off we got our special guest hey sis hi miss adrian how are you you look beautiful my friend Thank you. So do you. So do you. This is like I said to Denise, uh, what was it last week or before? It's my one night a week to to do it. <laughs> Just put it together. <laughs> you gotta put it together. Let me bring her in now. We got Denise. How are you, sis? Looking beautiful. Hi, Hi ladies. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, check us out. Three ladies in the house yes. tonight. That's right. And we got House, the lucky gentleman of the evening. I'm outnumbered. Help. I'm yeah. on number. <laughs> I got it all. all right. Tony, Tony. <laughs> right? Pastor. Hey, strange things in the house already. Here we go. Hello, Strange Days. Send mine, brother. Send mine. For, yeah. Thanks for checking out the interview with Mikey. I appreciate that. That was nice to sort of run that back, someone from my hometown. Um, anyways, it, I was like complaining how hot it was and i just realized all of you live somewhere where it's way hotter than where i'm at right now so i apologize <laughs> it's actually been hotter in california than it has here what which is crazy because i'm in arizona no big so oh, oh arizona's yeah. popping right now isn't it well phoenix is really bad but i live in like upper arizona so it's not um it's not as hot so like our highest was like 100 108 i think but we were in Bullhead City on Sunday. It was a wow. one twenty. Crazy! I got out of the car. I was like, "Oh hell no! Uh -uh. Yeah. Nope." Man, I could. I'd be inside all day under air conditioning. I'm sorry, but yeah, called it old denitis or whatever it is. <laughs> we went to church. That is the only reason that we went. Because I was as soon as I got out, I was like, "Just get me inside." Walk back to it was crazy. Yeah. So. Yeah, strange was, things. Where, where, where are you? What, what city are you? Are you in California? He's it's a local yeah. Sinaloa. Yeah, in California, but he is like in the desert. In the desert, right? Strange days. Yeah, yeah. So old right now. Yeah, he's down no there way. where it's it's hot. Yeah, yeah. No, where Brenda Brenda Love is, it's 124 in El Centro. Oh, that's that's yeah. it. my I'm grandparents like, were married there, like, there. Like, in that town. Yeah, that's crazy. crazy. Save yourself, Brenda. Move by the beach. <laughs> Dang, that's hot, man. One hundred twenty something. I'm like, Ooh. how do you do that? She goes air, air all day. I'm like, there you go. even the air is like that. That's so wild. Hey, Jojo. Hey, Jojo. Hey, there's there another go. man right there that's in the heat. Jojo Az. Yeah. He's yeah. been putting some work in, man. Yes. Yep, yep. Putting that hard work in. My son does that same kind of work, so I respect it. Like that's. That's a, yeah. I feel bad saying it's hot, but I just, it's hot. it's like 91 outside, but it's probably 105 in my house. Oh my God. Uh, you, don't get you, no you, you guys don't get a good breeze there? Uh, you don't get a good breeze there, Denise? Nothing. Because no? I'm surrounded wow. by a big, uh, wall, like a brick wall. Okay, um, okay. Right. Okay. That's right. one thing over here. We get a good breeze. You know, yeah. I, I like the breeze. Yeah. So Strange Day says, um, high vista, northern LA, high desert. So that's uh, yeah. yeah. You know, I was um, talking to uh I was talking to Mitch the other day and he said, you know, he's pretty used to it. Like it doesn't bother him at all. And he was like he said just from being in prison so long, he was like just lay they would lay on the ground. He yeah. was like, because that was the only way he said like the walls would just sweat. And he's like, that was the only way you could get any. Kind of relief. Really, it's just a literally wow. lay on the ground. That's wow. In the desert. It was, yeah, crazy. Wow. I could just imagine that, man, especially out there in Calipatria. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. That's no joke. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. 76. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's hot. We kick it off with um, Denise. I know you had a lot going on at your house, a lot of stuff going on. Why don't you tell us a bit about, you know, what your last week has been like? Um, actually, this is the third Tuesday, and um, they're finally done today. But it started three weeks ago. Um, they started working on my house, painting my house. Mm -hmm. 
And so just to prep it, it was like, okay, we got to cover all your windows with, you know, plastic, whatever they cover it with. And, and I'm like, okay, I didn't, I didn't plan on going nowhere because first it costs money to go get a hotel. Right. Mm -hmm. So we're just like, yeah, we, we don't, we can't even do that. And so we stood in here and it was just so hot. <laughs> For two yeah. days, we had to have everything covered. Wow. And um, so, yeah, it was pretty bad. And then um, it seemed like the guy was just taking his time, like doing other things, you know, they, they really, um, but I mean, um, there was only two guys here. It wasn't a whole shitload of guys, you know? Mm -hmm. So then um, they kind of, they built this um, patio on the side. So that took another few days, um, which I'm grateful, you guys. Don't get me wrong. It's just that mm -hmm. we didn't have nowhere to go, like, to, to stay. So we were yeah. what do you, what do you, I'm sorry, because I missed it. What, what are you having done? What, what are they, oh, they doing? Painted my house, they painted my whole house and then built, like, a um, side patio on the side okay. over here. Okay. Uh, just for the rain. Just for yeah. kind of the rain. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then um, painted everything. It looks really, really nice. I'm I'm happy with what it came That's out. That's good. Like. I have like yeah, a yeah. nice color. Nice color you choose. And yeah, nice, I choose like nice. a dark, dark gray, kind of like mm -hmm. this, but darker. Everything's gray around me. <laughs> Everything's yeah, they're painted like a Charlie Brown shirt, huh? Yeah. <laughs> right? That's cool, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, so they finally like picked up their stuff today, sandblasted the floors, like really cleaned them, and then he goes, I'll be back for some other stuff. And I'm like, right on. And I, by the way, you guys, he brought his little puppy the first day. And I looked outside and said, oh, no, that little puppy cannot. He was two months. Uh, uh -huh. Shepherd and Chihuahua. He was so cute. She, I keep saying he. Because okay. I'm used to having dog, boy dogs. Yeah. yeah. So he brought his puppy every day. And I was like, oh, no, can't be outside. I'm bringing it in. And the puppy ran around the house like crazy. So she got used to being around and in the house. Mm -hmm. um, and it was funny, I would, she would go get my um, daughter's, she would go to my daughter's room and there's like a basket of toys there of, of her puppy, her dog. And the little puppy would grab them and run to the front room with the toy, right? And he'd go back and get like more, she'd go back and get more toys. So all six toys would be in my living room. And, um, <laughs> Wow. So cute and so funny. So, <laughs> so I was like crying when he took her today. I was like, no, I don't want uh -huh. her. <laughs> you really love dogs, huh, Denise? I didn't. Yeah. And I didn't realize that until like way later in life, you know, because my sister would have them and she would let them lick her and be on their bed. And just like, I'm like, how do you do that? How do you let, like, yeah. how do you? Kiss the dog on the lips. Like, how do you give him food from your mouth? Like, oh, yeah. And then when I got my pit, I was really like in love with him. So yeah, um, that's yeah. where that all started. And and yeah, it was probably about six years ago. And um, just to see that little puppy leave, man, I was like, he goes, I'll thank you, Artie, to visit you. <laughs> I go, well, thank you. He goes, you can babysit if you want. And I'm like, oh. did it like that, like? kind of desire in you to maybe feel like you're ready to to have another puppy um honestly i i like i'd like i like giving it back if that makes sense i like giving that little puppy back to him or you know like have my time my my time mm -hmm. uh, to shower get ready just to hang out be with my you know those yeah. type things and with that puppy it showed me that there's no way you can do that with a puppy. Yeah. Yeah, I, have, I got four goats. Wait, one, two, three, four goats, 10 chickens, <laughs> and four dogs. And I'm telling you, like, what it is like, I have to get up at five. It takes me an hour, like, to do my shit in the morning with them. And when mm -hmm. I get home at night, it takes me about that long because I like to hang out with them too and, you know, sure. goof around or whatever. But it is, it is a, it is like having kids. I mean. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. And I was like, how come she's it's so wild? Cause thing. she was like, it is. Zoom, 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 for at yeah. least yeah. an hour and a half, just like going in. She has zoomies, huh? Like <laughs> no, not even zoomies. Cause they stop. Oh. 
once in a while. She kept just yeah. going. I got her, and I'm like, okay, calm down. <laughs> and it took me 10 minutes just to calm her down. Like, And as soon as I put her back on the floor, she was off. Back at like, it, yeah. Man, that's a lot of energy. So, oh, yeah. So, yeah. So that was my whole, like, three weeks. You know. Yeah. So well, it sounds like you're happy with the progress. You know, with your house being done. I bet it feels nice having it all beautiful. Yeah. Honestly, it was my husband's idea, like his idea to get the outside done. And I'm like, I, it was my idea to get Aaron here. And he was like, yeah. no, it's it's bad out there. You know, it just needs to be done. And I'm like, all right. Yeah. Got to get it so, done. Mine needs to be done too. I know. I don't know how long I have to wait for air now, but. Right, right. So I'm going to move on to the next lady on the panel. And how about you, sis? How was your your week, your weekend? I know, like you said, it's, it hasn't been as it hot. Was it, wasn't so um, it was good because Mitch was home all weekend and we just um, did stuff around the house. We saw some, went have lunch with some friends and went to church and it was Man. busy. It always goes by really, really fast. And so um it was good just freaking hot i mean it really gives you the craving to want to put a freaking pool like it's just you know yeah i can play with an ice bath for real that means <laughs> yes you know yes. it was good though it was good okay good hey how yeah. is that you brought up the goats um we had wondered a couple shows back because mitch had brought on that little baby goat you handed him baby. How yeah is the baby she's goat? great she is uh she's outside with her mom um and her sister and so another goat but um she's doing really good she's still you know she's smaller than the other goats because she's the brunt but um you know she gets i go out there and give her electrolytes every morning when it's super hot and um she's kind of spoiled uh for sure but she's the other day she, she knows how to get through a dog door so you know she's in the pen she's in this big goat and it's big and she figured out how to jump you know they're jumpers and so she jumped yeah. on top of the school jumped on top of her house jumped over so i'm sitting in the living room with the dogs and i hear this she has a very distinctive clomp like a horse clomp and yeah. she'd come through the dog door and she had the zoomies and so when she came in she was just like <laughs> running all over the place I was like, <laughs> but yeah she, she's good she's super healthy and she's good. yeah animals are fun man they're, they're funny they you know fun. i mean they, they have, yeah they, they are cool uh, depends on what kind you get but they are cool man they got their own little personality you know they do. Yeah, they really yeah. do. Mm -hmm. I know. I, I don't know what's next, but I, I did, you know, in theory, it's like, oh, I'm so excited before we moved here. I was like, that would be so cool to have, like, and don't get me wrong, because I love them. I would not give them for anything, but they are a lot. It's money, costs money, do you know what I mean, to feed them. Oh, yeah. And then, you know, and so I really try to, like, when I go out and feed them, I hang out with them, I play with them or whatever, because I just didn't want to be like, What's the point of having them if you're not like enjoying them or whatever? So, yeah. I was going to ask you do, you, do you have them for like just as pets or what do you do? Pets, but we are talking about getting a cow. Ooh. Yeah, but I, <laughs> I was like, don't, I can't name them. Jimin and I was like, and I would probably have to keep my, um, I, this is what I said. I, I'm fine with doing that. I'm fine with it. And I was like, but I would have to make sure while that cow was on this earth that it had a really good life. Yeah. Like, yeah. Do you mean so that I was like, I'm all about if you're going to use it for food or whatever. But, you know, they say that the cost of actually raising them is more than you would spend, I guess, buying it in the store. But really, I don't think that's true because we have free range cattle out here. So. Mm -hmm. You're not paying anything to really feed them, even though I would probably feed mine. Yeah. Yes. Not to them range. Right. And so, but um, yeah, yeah, that's the only thing. I would not be able to name it though, and I would not be able to, that would be really hard to do that. Yeah. Right. I remember yeah. years ago when I came out here from LA and I went and was sleeping in this one mo mobile home. It was a mobile home, a big trailer. And uh, all of a sudden I woke up and I looked out the window right there, the sliding door. And there was a cow right there going moo. <laughs> I went from city life to uh, Green Acres, and there was a cow. <laughs> yeah, it is. It really is. They have free range longhorns out here, though. 
I mean, they're everywhere. And so when I drive down, down, there's a two lane road that it's like, a, it's like a mini highway. I think it used to be or whatever. And, mm -hmm. um, there are signs all over. You have to just like really watch for them. Um, because they're the cross, there's lots of babies out right now. Um, yeah, but yeah they just free roam all over the place, oh, you know, cool. yeah. and they're longhorns, you said? Yeah, they're longhorns. That's they're really so cool. neat. They'll come yeah. out to my yard sometimes, like they'll come out and then I'll give them hay and I'll give them some oats and water and whatever. And then they take a little nap and then they just go on their way. Nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. If there's anything I could, I remember. Okay. So I think I told you that's how I grew up was we always had cattle. We had goats, yeah. the whole thing. So my dad would always raise like our own beef, but he would always have that one that he knew was eventually going to yeah. separated from where like us kids would interact with them. And he would yeah. tell us Do not get it like from a young age. It sounds harsh, but if you grow up that way, like, yeah, you have to, don't get attached, you know, to yeah. this. It is. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard not to. But I was just like, yeah. as long as I don't have to have anything to do with that and I don't know, like, when that is and all of that stuff. But that's what you do that. They come out and now they don't. This is going to sound like yeah. it's going to sound bad, but they, you know, they shock them. They don't like now they just like put a little thing on and they, they shock them. So they don't get stressed out. Yeah. So, uh, but I, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. If I always said, if I had to kill what I ate, I would be a vegetarian for yeah. sure. Can I share a story real quick about yeah. animals? I went to work one day, my dog got loose. I'm making it real quick and brief. Went next door and they would raise chickens, right? Well, he killed the chicken. So my, uh, my mother was there at the house. I came home from work and she says, uh, your dog went next door and killed one of their chickens. And I says, oh man, hey, cause they cook, they used to eat them, right? So I said, man, I felt bad. So I says, you know what? I went in the freezer, grabbed the frozen chicken. <laughs> I walked over there to take it to the people. And when I gave it to the person, the little boy started crying because oh, it was his, that one happened to be his pet. Oh no. Like, hey, I was like, hey, I'm really sorry, man, but, and I'm over here handing him a frozen chicken. <laughs> she <laughs> took him <laughs> eggs, Donnie. <laughs> she took him eggs, not a chicken. He's like, he never forgot you. I bet you anything else, he still thinks of you. He's like, ooh, that girl. Right? <laughs> right? He's like, that, and the little boy started crazy. crying. I was like, okay. <laughs> when I first moved here, there was a, we have like, we had like 12 chickens, and um, I went into the coop one morning to go feed the chickens. And there was this chicken laying there, like just, there was no blood, no anything. But I thought it was weird because her legs were like, just like straight out. Like, like she was resting, was just really strange. And I was like, is she like alive? So I like was like, you know, yeah. creeping up there and I moved her and I noticed, this is gonna sound really creepy. It was really creepy. She had no head. What? Her whole body was there, but she had like her from the neck up gone and no hardly any blood at all the like nothing daughter. so wow. i was freaking out i was like someone's out here worshiping the devil like there's some shit going on <laughs> like whatever and so <laughs> i got all freaked out and then i called my friend who lives here and she was like do you have owls and i was like yeah and she goes chicken brains are a delicacy to owls like they love that mm -hmm. and they will literally their beaks are you know so strong they literally oh. clip it and run oh wow so i was just like oh that's crazy huh that, that was a sight to see that it was i freaked out like i was just like run. uh what's <laughs> that? Like, and you go around and her head's gone oh my hey God. how about how about the frog legs that they're dead and you put salt and on them move? and then they start twitching and moving uh -uh. Oh, no nope. that's crazy huh it is yeah. and it, that's true how that happens oh my gosh yeah. Yeah, that's I have crazy. a big owl that lives here, and she, this owl lives every year and has her babies in the eucalyptus tree right outside my bedroom window yeah. all night. Every night, this owl is screeching, and I'm like, oh, my gosh. I hope none of my my cats get taken by her because, you know, right. they're, they're, yeah, they're I have to watch my little dogs. Yeah, because they, yeah. like, they'll just carry them right off, so, you yeah. know. Yeah. 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 Wild. I love, li I love living in the country. That's. I, I just yep. do. 
It is. And I like it because I work in a city. So it's like, you know, 40 minutes away. So it's nice because the commute's like easy and, you know, it's nice looking at the desert and the clouds. Like it's very weird here because like on one side, for instance, it's totally cloudy and it's, it's raining because we're about to get monsoons and pretty soon. And then side and it's like, uh, it's totally clear. I mean, I literally look at one window I look at the other and you have two different, you know, different scenery. Wow. We got yeah. raindrops yesterday, and I was like, "What?" I know that was weird. The weather is. is weird. It is weird. How yeah. this last week? What have you been up to? Give us. Oh uh, man, I, as you can see, it's, I'm in a different room now. I yeah. took, I moved rooms, so it's changed over, and that took me like two and a half days. You know, all the wiring, mm -hmm. moving the bed, and doing this and that, and hanging up everything. You know that I had, so it was a mission. But I did that. Uh, spent time with my grandkids. My daughter made some. Uh, what do you call that stuff? We ate um, aguas chile. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, that's bomb. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. And uh, spent time with my grandkids. You know, my granddaughters were over here, a couple of them, and we were talking, chopping it up. I'm proud of her. She's going to be going to college. Uh, nice. She got a job, and she's going to be going to college, and I'm proud of her. You know, nice. and. Uh, other than that, just uh, spend time with my grandkids. Like mm, right now, they probably they want me to play Fortnite with them, but I'm not. <laughs> uh, not today. I did, yesterday I did with them, but not today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Aww, yeah, that's good. You're yeah. Your grandpa. And the baby's doing good. Your new grandpa. Yeah, real good. He's he's like his dad, you know, uh, long, hairy. You know, the guy says, "Man, let's look just like you, man." <laughs> but yeah, he's doing good. Real good, man. I'm blessed. And my other daughter, she's doing good. Uh, she's gonna have a girl in December. Yeah. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, that's that's all good to hear. Um, I just pretty much was here at the house, all, you know, always kicking it with all my animals too. And I know it sounds crazy, and because I thought it, I thought this in my head. And I know if I think it sounds crazy, it's crazy. But I have to ask. Do you think it's possible for a cat to be allergic to cats? <laughs> That's oh, a good, good, good one. one. Wow. Uh, poor cat, if he is, man. <laughs> I started tripping out on this earlier because this little kitten that we got, right? My son had brought him from his work, found him wandering around. He's been sick for like two weeks, and all he does is sneeze all the time. And he he's might allergic to something, but I don't think cats. So. He might just have allergies, period. Mm -hmm. you know yeah. I mean? yeah. Good. yeah. So, but I just feel so bad for the little guy. He just sneezes yeah. constantly and has like a runny oh. nose. He reminds me of that kid in, you know, kindergarten that's always, you know, wiping his nose and sneezing. And I'm like, oh, poor baby. Oh. Now, you, now you could change his name to Sneezy. I'm going to have to, I think. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. I'm going to have to, for Sneezy. sure. But no, it, he. He's a cutie. He fits in, you know. I didn't expect to get another cat, but it, you know, he showed up, and here we are. Uh, you know, that's how it goes. Hey, he might have to share. <laughs> you might have to shave all the hair off, and it'd be a hairless cat. Oh my gosh, can you imagine? <laughs> Ruby wants. She tells me she's like, I want one of those cats. Um, how are they called? Oh, they oh, the naked cats. I'm like, yeah, they stink. Yeah, yeah. Water wants one of those too. I heard they're really cool cats, though. I mean, I heard that they're really they like very much personality, but um, they have this really weird smell. Man, so I went to the bank one time and I was walking and I was just walking calmly, looking. And then I turned to the left and I looked in this car and there was this cat so big. I don't know if it was uh, what do you call that? Uh, what are those cats? Not a uh, a Siamese, a wild cat. Oh, it's a, it's a, like a wildcat, yeah. wild cat. but it wasn't all furry. And I looked like this, and he was just huge in there, man, just sitting in the car. And I thought, wow, that was unusual to see. You don't no. see that every day. Right? <laughs> I had to take a second look. I was like, damn. There's some cat breeds that are really big, and there's another one called Maine Coons, and they're beautiful, but they look like they can Indians are beautiful. Off. They're really expensive, and they're really hard to... That's yeah, what my yeah. daughter wants. Yeah, she they wants are really those. beautiful. My sister has this cat that kind of has this nose pushed back and these like Chinese eyes. Oh my okay. god, a beautiful cat. Yeah, the per the Persian cats normally have the big eyes with the the.
flat the, face. The nose. Yeah. 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 And they normally are kind of feisty, if I remember right. The main thing is my friend has one, and she yeah. is rowdy as hell. Like, and then she and she's and she she growls all the time, like you know, like a wild animal. Uh -huh. she, but she can be really loving and really sweet, but she, when she doesn't want you to get in their her space. She will not have it. And they eat different too. Like they, you have to feed them like meat chunks, not like. Oh, well, they need that raw meat. Yeah. 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 It's, they're they very. Have to, they have to eat differently. Yeah, yeah. they do. That's crazy. Yeah. Okay. Well, look what Jojo said. Maybe one day. Where's he at? Man, I was a little behind with that frozen chicken. Right, Jojo? When Adrian said that, <laughs> I was like, I figured it too. I can hey, that's, a, hey, that's true, man. This, but. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I thought because they eat them, you know. I said, "Hey, man, I apologize. Here's one ready to eat." Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna read this real quick. I have a couple relatives that work for um, UPS, and I know they've been on strike lately. I don't know if it's just in Cali or, or what, but I think they came to an agreement or something. So let me just read this that came up. Um, the Teamsters have reached a tentative deal with UPS ahead of what would be the largest strike in modern U.S. history. Wow. It would raise minimum pay for part-time workers to $21 an hour. Current part-time workers would get up to $1.50 an hour additional raise. UPS would also hire 30,000 full-time jobs. <coughs> the contract also has a host of other provisions that workers demand. They include the end of two-tier wage system for drivers, top rates of $49 an hour for full-timers, no more driver facing cameras or harassment by bosses, air conditioning wow. in trucks, and 340,000 members will be able to vote on the contract on August 3rd through 22nd. So nice. I just wanted they to get that. They for benefits too. They, they got better benefits, um, but they haven't taken it back to the full, you know, like they said, that voting period is pretty long. So yeah. if it's ever passed, we'll have to go back to the table again. But I think that, um, I, I, you know what's funny? I thought they paid their part-timers way more than that. I thought so, too. When I read that. Was way more than that. No way. Yeah. I have a friend of mine that used to work for them. She was just a little tiny thing. She was, like, probably, she was, like, 4'11", real mm -hmm. small framed. She yeah. her ass off. And she what? eventually, she worked for them for, like, 10 years. And you know what? She after herself up like her what back do you think? all jacked her you know what i mean like it was yeah. you know yeah what do you think minimum wage should be in california man minimum wage mm -hmm. like oh, ideally yeah. i mean so so they could survive what do you think, I think it's like 25 bucks an hour i i agree with you yeah, yeah. Not, at least at least 25 yeah uh, at least it's I mean, gotta be right i mean just the cost 15 of bucks an hour and like whatever like you know, there used to be a time when you could live on minimum wage. I did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I mean, I wasn't rich by any means or whatever, but I had an apartment. I had, like, you know, I worked overtime, of course, too. But, like, yeah, yeah. you know, it was not, you could Machete. do it. Yeah. And you can't do that now. No way. Yeah, no. I, you see people working two jobs yeah. or are not able to afford what they used to. Yeah, it's, it's changed. You know, it kind of hit home right here, too. You know, things changed for me. But, uh it's crazy it's it's now aren't crazy yeah you gotta hustle crazy. i mean like you gotta hustle in some yeah you know, way, right it's whether it's working three jobs or whatever you know you gotta you know, do it everything else went up i mean that's only that should be the first thing to go up right you now it's like your payment your 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 check and yeah. minimum wage like if you're gonna raise groceries and raise the rent and stuff like that well then see yeah. what the businesses are doing they is they're raising their prices on product and they're giving you smaller portions you know what i'm saying yeah, and, then they're, and they're not even increasing you know the the wages for people which sucks yeah, you right. know right yeah. that's crazy i know it is wild to think that I, I would hope that minimum wage will get to where our cost of living is close to it I right mean, I know probably right. Never there you go there, there you go there has to be a balance there has to be like you just you can't you the know. richer, the, I mean, while well, the the big companies are are just getting richer, they got enough money. You know what I'm saying? They ain't living a, a bad lifestyle and everything. But you know what? They have to kick down their employees, which is the backbone of their company. You know, that's you how know, I feel. 
Yeah, and you know what I think too? I mean, I don't know if you guys think the same thing, but you know, back in the day, like I heard this, I heard this word today, these three words. Okay. And you know how they always like you'll see like faith, hope, and love. Like you see that, like I see that a lot. Mm -hmm. But you know what it dawned on me when I heard the third word? They changed it. Because a long time ago it was faith, hope, and charity. Really? And yeah. they changed that last word to love. And I thought to myself, we are really lacking that as I mean, at least back in the day, I mean it wasn't greatly, but there was not a huge gap between the haves and have nots. I mean, there was a gap, don't get me wrong, but yeah. I feel like it was more evenly balanced than it is now. Yeah. I mean, you've got mega billionaires now that, you know. Yeah, like the Bible says, uh, not to get biblical on you, but what is the best out of all those three? Love right. is the most important one because yeah. the God gave us, Jesus gave his life for us. That showed love, you know. That's the most important thing out of faith, hope, and love now, you know. But right. yeah, there's a lot. That was a song, actually, huh? Yeah. Faith, hope, and charity. Wasn't that a song? I think, it, a song? I think it was a band. I think that was the band's name. Oh, was I, the band's I name? Was, yeah, I think it was their name. So I was like, God, that's weird because everyone used to always say this, and now it's changed that word. You don't hear that word. You don't hear that word very much. Yeah. I was just gonna say that I haven't heard that word charity very you know, right. for a long time. Not Are we people. telling our age by naming those no, bands? No, no, no. <laughs> okay. So we're going to get into the next. Uh, or well, I guess I, this is our first official topic of the evening, but I can't, I don't feel like we can avoid this story because it's everywhere. It's and, everywhere. Yeah, it's everywhere. And for a lot of different reasons. So I'm sure it will sound familiar to a lot of you in the chat and people that catch the playback, but there was, um, there's the story of a young lady, um, Carly, Carly Russell, and she had reported, she was reported missing. And the story goes is that she was on her way home from work and she spotted a child, a small child, like a toddler. And mm -hmm. the 911 call, she reported that he looked to be about three or four years old, uh, walking the side of the a busy, I think it was a highway or freeway, busy road anyways. And, um, she reported this to 911 and then she called, I believe, and mind you guys, we're not professional reporters here, so things are changing as the story unfolds. So if uh, I'm not mistaken, she called her boyfriend's sister after she got off the phone with 911 and was talking to her, let her know what was going on. The sister hears a scream from Carly and then the line sort of, it stays connected, but just goes blank. Now she's missing or allegedly missing for something like 46 hours. And all of a sudden she just appears at her parents' house. Um, there was a lot of fear, obviously, because this phone call was captured on 911. And I, I heard part of it and they had played it. So imagine, you know, we're hearing somebody, basically the story was a lot of people were thinking somebody like, used this toddler on the side of the road to entice someone draw them in and it's part of a you know what trafficking type of ring or something you know hmm. well everything started unfolding and they started detectives started doing their detecting i guess and started seeing like okay well this and this and that is not adding up and turns out yesterday through her attorney carly had a letter read on her behalf admitting that she was never missing. And this was all, um, she said nobody else was involved. Yeah, she was never missing. She was never uh, in danger. And this was all sort of, yeah, a hoax. I don't think she used those words herself, but. The biggest thing too, Jen, too, is that they looked through her internet, through her Google search, and she had yeah. looked up. Um, what was it? She looked up Taken, the movie Taken. Yeah, she looked and, up the and <laughs> um, how can I put money in my how can I take money out of a drawer and not get caught at work? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you're <just dumb. laughs> like, you should get arrested <laughs> because you're so stupid. Like, you know, they, they caught they had the camera yeah. on that highway and they showed her car. I, I guess they, they don't, you know, they don't have hours of footage on her car, but I think mm -hmm. it runs maybe like. 
I don't know, 20 seconds or something like that, that video mm -hmm. from, you know, mm -hmm. them seeing her car on that, on that camera. Yeah. And uh, they show her getting off. And that was just, that was it. But there was this yeah. guy on YouTube that I watched. I forgot his name. Um, and he was doing, he went to the same spot where she stopped at, got off his car, walked through the grass into the wooded area and found a trail. He walked down that trail. And then at the bottom of the trail, there was this um, like little road type, little road, you know, down there. Like you could drive an ATC on there or a bike or something like like a trail and he looks to his left and he sees a big old uh big old mat like a hole like a underground it was an underground bridge or something so he was just saying he was saying like you know what could she have done like that hasn't came out yet she hasn't told anybody what she did do in those 48 hours yeah and when she stated that it was just a, a hoax well what her lawyer stated it was a hoax and that she was the only person that was involved in it, you know. For some reason, I think uh, by reading what her boyfriend said, that there was must have been somebody else involved in there, you know. Who knows? Yeah. You know, who knows? Well, it makes you wonder, you know. So that's much gonna come out. A story that's like gonna come out, but they were asking too, like, what do you guys think? What do you guys think about um, what she should do in return? Like, what she should be um, liable for? I would say like she should be liable for all those um, expenses that had to be paid to go out yeah. there. The yeah. out there, the yeah. search and know. rescue. Yeah. The yeah. People I don't know if she did a GoFundMe page. For her. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. And you know what though, the biggest crime I think in that is it's like people, the next time it happens and it happens for real, yeah. what is the first, what's, what's the first thought that's gonna go, oh, hey. What's the first thought that's going to go through your head? Right. Yeah. Is, it, is this real? Is it not real? Is it real? Right. 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 And I think that's part of what is going to come to the surface. So her attorney did express that he expects that some sort of charges will come her way. And yeah. most likely yeah. it will be, you know, for maybe like the false 911 call, false police report type thing. And then like you, you all mentioned, the, the man hours. That it took yeah, 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 yeah. Trina, yeah. Is that for real? That she left. That's pretty. Here? That's pretty serious. That's Girl. like, that's Girl. like kidnapping charges right there. Trina, you know. When I read that, I was like, "Ain't no way." <laughs> really? They said that. I'm gonna go in that cave with my wig or not at all. <laughs> Ain't no way. <laughs> yeah, they left, she left a lot of stuff behind. It's a tussle over that one. <laughs> that is messed up. Crazy, right? And she had, they said she had stopped at a Target and got cheeses, granola bars. I was like, sounds to me like she was prepping for a little, <laughs> little two days. And so she went and got snacks. Okay. Yeah. All right. Wow. But if you remember, I don't know if you can, um, this was a few years back. There was a lady, it was here in California. I think her name was Sherry Papini. You're talking about the blonde chick that was like, uh, she got gang members, two gang women yes. members. Came. Yes, I totally remember that. Two wow. yeah. like Mexican women like attacked her and, and I know. Her up. I better not go too far, but yeah, she, the whole time she was in Southern California with her ex-boyfriend. Yeah. But she made Jen, you're sounding a little bit lower now, Jen. I don't know if it's your mic or what. You sound a little bit lower now. Is it just me or? Know. Yeah, she's a little quieter. Can you bring your yeah. mic closer to you, Jen? Yeah. Yeah. Can you guys hear me? Bring it a little closer. Yeah. Okay. I think I need to get a different mic, guys. That's there you go. I think my grocery outlet mic is. Uh, because you yeah. sound you sounded good at the beginning. All of a sudden, it just went down. You know? I know it's playing games with me. This mic is. Yeah. I, but uh, thank you for telling me. I appreciate it. But yeah, that chick Sherry Papini or something. Now, you know what's funny is, it's not really funny, but she faked that whole thing. Yeah. But yeah. the only thing that got her act, like she's locked up right now, I think. The only thing yeah, that she is. her in trouble was accepting money that was basically uh, donated on her behalf to help care for her, like mental health and lost wages or some something like that. Hmm. So she would have got off with that. Do you want to know something? I find myself 
I mean, I don't know about you guys. I'd be curious to see like what you were. Okay. So when I watch like TikToks or whatever, and I see people like asking for money or like they're like, I'm in the hospital or whatever. Do you know what I do? I watch it with no sound because when I watch it with no sound, I pay attention to other stuff that I wouldn't normally pay attention to. Like how a person's IV is hanging. You what start reading behind them, but I hate being like that. Like I hate doing that, but that's what this kind of stuff brings you to. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Don't you feel like it, it's a shame? But that is it sort is. of what the world. That, has that's lost. like how 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 are they going to respond to other things that happen like this? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like the boy who cried wolf. You know? Yep. That's what's in my mind for sure. Yeah. 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 That's the part that would have me, um, you know, upset, especially if I was in the, her community. There was a, a mom in that community, a mom or a dad, and they had a daughter who didn't make it back home and whose body was found. And they are highly upset for oh, obvious yeah. Like, how dare you? How dare you do this? And that is something like she can't take that back. She really hurt people who have truly experienced something, a nightmare like this. And I'm There's sure no there's no empathy. There's no empathy there. For that person at all. I mean, like, I mean, I remember reading something about her mom said, like, they weren't prepared to talk because they, obviously they wanted to talk to her before they made a statement, and yeah. um, but they wouldn't cooperate her story. Like, it was just like, you but know, they did talk, like, right? They did talk to you. Something talk sounds fishy, huh? Something sounds a little fishy, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Well, they talked today, and I wasn't sure what I was like. Rewind it a few times, and I'm like, "What are they saying? Who the parent? They saying she, she really got abducted, and she's trying to, yes, you know, it's get her true. mind back to normal, and that that's going to take time, and she's really out of it, and mm -hmm. like, what was that about? And you know, there's that thing of negative attention is attention, right? And then yeah. she has so many followers, and she's very pretty. Yeah. yeah. That, that was my question. Is she a well-known person? I don't even know who she is other than a woman from that. Uh, was it oh, Atlanta? Is it? Um, I think she was in Alabama. No, she's just a... Alabama. Yeah, there you go. Alabama, yeah. Well, I, think she had a, I think she had yeah. a following of some sort. I don't know if it was really? on TikTok or Instagram, uh -huh. but she had a lot of followers. On, oh, did she? On a platform okay. that I wasn't... I'm not too sure of, but... Um, yeah. Things like that have to take uh, be taken seriously, and man, you can't be playing jokes like that, man. You know, especially especially with these people missing, these young kids and these uh, girls and, and whatever. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, it's crazy. crazy. That's another thing I saw um, on a news station. They had met, or not a news station. I think it was a a YouTube channel. They were talking about how her boyfriend or ex boyfriend, whatever the case was, had originally made this for her safety which is honorable even if it was an ex at the time and um once she was discovered back at home and it was you know called a hoax of course he was embarrassed or i don't know ashamed whatever he felt i don't want to put words in his mouth but he made a post basically saying i feel the same way that you all do i'm feeling yeah that's you know, yeah but some sure. of you guys his following went from like 500 to 50 000 overnight after he like basically posted, you know, I'm hurt too, this, that, and the other. And they're like, I bet he's got so many girls in his DMs. I'm like, that's so <laughs> that's that's I don't right know why I'm even thinking that, but remember that guy that was, um, he like, he left his girlfriend or some crazy shit, whatever, and was mm -hmm. in jail and she posted a picture of him and he had like light skin and he had like green eyes. He was mixed. Oh my gosh. So yes. handsome. And that guy like ended up like, I don't know. He had like like three million followers like overnight. I mean, oh, just yeah. by some fluke shit like that. I mean, it's just so. Yeah. Crazy. What did they call him? They called him like the the green eyed something. I don't. I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> like the sexiest right. prisoner. Some crazy <laughs> shit. Right. He got with this chick. He got with, <laughs> and, uh, I think from septic tank. Right from salute. I think from this chick from New York. I think she was. You guys. And I believe she was somehow a family to a very wealthy, like, um, designer or something. Yeah, yeah. They married. He, I think they had a child or two kids they did. together. Yeah. And I'm like, wow, he, he locked that in. I don't think they're together anymore, but I'm like, 
he, yeah, he that was back. real. That was real crazy. <clears throat> It's sad well, though. I mean, we'll end up seeing why she did it. Hopefully, it'll come out. And yeah. I mean, we deserve to know. You know, I, yeah. I would like to know. I'm not trying to be nosy, but shit, I would like to know why. Yeah, right. I think we'll. I think we'll find out why. And but uh, she's probably going to face some charges. You know, maybe yeah. fines and stuff like that. Have to pay restitution yeah. or whatever. I mean, you I know? Get, like you have people that go. You know, I just saw like somebody got rescued at some like campsite or whatever. And I, and I thought to myself, listen, if it's 110 degrees outside and you're, if you want to risk your life, that's a, that's a decision you're making, but to make other people that have families, et cetera, even though that's their job or whatever, to come look for you as they're risking helicopters and shit to come yeah. do that. That's a whole different, that, that, that's, you know what I mean? That's so selfish that people are like, well, I expect you to come rescue me yeah. if I do this stupid shit. Right. That was and actually on the, on the news today about uh, while they're talking about the heat and thinking it's yeah. okay just because it's hot and go to the mountains and go hiking. But it's actually really hot over there in the mountains yeah. too. Yeah. And, and yeah. yeah, it's crazy. I but. About the hiking in the desert and they both, they both died. Yeah. And people go and don't go. Like, what are you doing? It's it's yeah. the freaking desert. Yeah, I would. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way. Machete, that was the guy's name. Jeremy Meeks, the hot felon, they called him. Oh, yeah, guy. thank you. I can not remember. That. And then Drina says that the boyfriend, the ex-boyfriend of Carly's sister addresses this on Facebook. Oh, God, I'm going to have to check that yeah. out. Definitely. And you know what? I do feel bad for her family and her parents. That's got to be because you want to believe your own kid, even if you right. in your mind, you think, OK, my my child has issues. And then her parents got to live with that shame. I mean, they, yeah. you know what I mean? Like that's, you know, that's yeah. terrible in so many ways. Right. And, and who knows how much hate mail or our oh, death oh, threats or, or stuff like that they'll get yeah. from it, you know, yeah. some I mean, negative stuff. Like, I'm talking about people that really lost that have lost their kids. You, like yeah. I said, they're saying pray for her and play for her mental her mental yep. status. Yep. So. Right. And I think that is something that should be looked into because there was like a if they go back, and I'm sure they will, she had made some posts a while back ago about struggling with her mental health and uh, her medications. So who knows? I'm not saying yeah, yeah. For everything, but who knows how far down that rabbit hole it could go. Um, right. Yeah, I'm sure they'll look into all of that. And she has a very good attorney. Um, he used to be a prosecutor and a judge at some point. So he's got a great uh, outlook on all different aspects. I don't think this is going to be the last one that we're going to see. Yeah. Like know. this. You know what I mean? Oh, no. This, and this world? Was on TV doing it. That was on, what was his name? Jesse Small. 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 Mm -hmm. He was on that show. I used to love that show. Um, yeah. Who was that show? Empire. Right. And when that claim that those guys like tried to rob him or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And they beat him up. Yeah, I remember and that one. Like, yeah. And the yeah. two guys stitched him out. I mean, they were like, yeah, he, you know, he paid us to do it. Like, we're not going to go to prison for you, fool. Like, we're just gonna, yeah, he paid us to do it. You know what I mean? They have video of them getting the stuff at the store yeah. and everything. Uh <laughs> oh, it's Oh my God! Just for publicity or a publicity yeah. stunt or whatever, you know. And then it got turned into a whole racial thing, right? Mm -hmm. And so, like, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's crazy. And then they ended up like they caught him. Like, what? there's cameras everywhere. Yeah. There's cameras yeah. everywhere. Why are you gonna try to do something? And there's cameras freaking everywhere. It's like, right? <laughs> yeah, with any crime, do shit, knowing there's a camera, looking anything. At Anything. There's a camera like down a random street anywhere. Like yeah, my doorbell gets half my block. I'm not gonna tell nobody, but yeah, it gets half the block. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, Drina, I, my honestly, like my heart immediately went there, and I did hear a lot of the podcasters I listen to are in the black community, and she, like Drina says right here, the black community um, complains about not getting exposure for our black girls. Then she does this. Yeah. I mean, I'm that. Yeah. Really that's really sad. You, you know, know, you know, oh, go ahead. yeah, 
it, no, it's true. But, and every race is doing that. There's always your bad apples in every yeah. race and every race, right. man. Yeah. And, and there's always, and we'll touch on that topic another time, but you know, uh, stuff like that, even ourselves and uh, our race, we ruin it for ourselves, man. Most definitely. We do. You know, what, I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but I've noticed that definite, I, you know, I watch the a lot, um, mm. more than I probably should. And, uh, one of the things I've starting to notice that I've never seen before is you have a lot of people coming up from their own communities, whatever that community happens to be mm -hmm. saying, I don't agree with this. Like, this is like, this is not what I do. I don't yeah. want to put into a, like, this is what everybody, like I always told Mitch, you don't ever use the word all. Yeah. Oh, right. Man. And I was like, cause you, yeah. you just, you can't for anything. Mm -hmm. But I just feel like that's, I feel like people are starting to get, awake i'm not gonna use the term yeah. woke yeah. um from just like you know things have been happening but you know we didn't have all the social media so it's not you can't have as many people being open and using their voice about it right i think yeah. that's, i actually think that's one positive thing that people are actually being able to you mm -hmm. know maybe not in their community forward. but some um races are known for other you know for 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 things I, i'd like to say like um, so you communities, I think are different, but in ra races in general, mm -hmm. seem to be doing a lot of the same crap. Right. You know and, but I mean? now you have people saying, I don't want to align myself with that shit. And that's not me. Yeah. And that's yeah. not where I come yeah, from. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're being their own, their own person is yeah. what they're doing. You know, yeah. just look as not a, not a color of the skin or whatever, right. you know, and that's, that's what I like about this neighborhood where I live in is you have a multi a melting pot of different ethnicities, yeah. you know, yeah. and, and I like that, man, you know, and especially when I go to the church too, it's the same like that too, you know? Yeah. And I, and I, I, live that. The, I live in the barrio and there's just, we're, we're all, that's just Mexican. There ain't no other race. Um, there's really? nothing else like that here. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they're so, all different, you know, I'm just saying, kind of, everybody's entitled to speak for themselves. I'm not mm -hmm. saying they're not. Hey, I love tortillas too, yeah. machete. Some <laughs> our tortillas, homemade ones. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> that, that that's for real. Most definitely. House, what was that thing that happened down there in Whittier? Did you happen to? Oh yeah, uh, it was a uh, last on uh, Sunday. It was about eight or eight days ago, eight or nine days ago. On a Sunday, uh, they were having you know the win for the soccer, Mexican soccer, or whatever. So people are celebrating, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, people are celebrating. They go down Whittier Boulevard because Whittier is is shut down for cruising. Oh. You know, there's no cruising there because uh, and they haven't opened it up. While well, everybody got together, a lot of youngsters I noticed in the video. A lot of youngsters. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to LA uh, Confidential for putting it up, uh, mm -hmm. and he was live on the spot when this happened. But um, everybody with their Mexican flags driving up and down. A lot of young people kicking back. I mean, a, a gang load of people. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, you see all these burnouts, all these spinning around, burning their tires, oh, troqueros, you know what I mean? They're all in their big trucks doing this, and that could be dangerous, right? And then it started escalating, getting worse because, you know, all this stuff. Then what happens? The sheriff starts coming in to shut it down, you know? And it's kind of a... If you're going to celebrate, celebrate, but there's some people that ruin it for everybody. You know, there's always those people that ruin it for people, you know, yeah. but I think that day eventually was still going to get shut down because they closed Whittier Boulevard for cruising, you know, and that was packed. So, so, they, let them, so they, so I know, like, I saw a big thing about Riverside last weekend um, mm -hmm. that had all kinds of little writers like miles and miles oh yeah they have a thing over here like that yeah yeah but i didn't so they didn't let that go in whittier that that's all no a no no uh, no, no whittier no they shut it down completely oh. but you know what uh the sheriffs come in if they see anybody grouping up or whatever they start shutting it down yeah. you know yeah. but that day that sunday they brought out riot gear oh, and then wow. they started literally pulling out their uh non-lethal weapons uh flashbangs uh, yeah. tear gas things and they were throwing them in the crowd man and and when those go off somebody could get hurt yeah. you know and because yeah. there's a it's like a boom a big boom you know 
So they're dispersing the crowd, you know, and they're saying they, what do they classify it as? Unlawful, illegal uh, assembly. Yeah, yeah. What is it? Uh, uh, Penal code 407 or something like that, section 407. Anyways, so they were lined up in riot gear, forming their lines and everything and throwing those. But when I was watching the video, they threw one right by a, a guy that's in a wheelchair and he don't move very fast and he can't move. And they threw that smoke bomb. And it's uh, from what I'm hearing from them saying it smells real bad and stuff. And he just sitting there. So one dude came up, grabbed mm-hmm. him and started pushing him away. And there's a lot of vulgar language in there, uh, cussing out the cops. Uh, yeah. People were throwing uh, water bottles at the police. Okay. And mm-hmm. so there were a bunch of stuff exchanged. Uh, they dispersed the crowd pretty quickly, but there was some somebody that got injured. I don't know mm-hmm. who, but it was saying somebody did get injured from one, one of those uh, flashbang uh, grenades yeah. they were throwing. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, to make a long story short, uh, I, I think it would have got shut down anyhow because of everybody regrouping there. But those trucks, man, and the burnouts, kills it i don't condone that man you know because if one of those lose control and they just happen to get in there and somebody is going to get run over you know yeah time and there was like crowds real closely knit you know so right. you but, know, uh, often they let they let them uh there's like a uh stockton raceway so yeah. when they started when they let that whole um cruising thing come off they opened that up for people to go uh race burnout, yeah. whatever. That means they try to give them like, what's going to happen. So let's try to keep it, you know, yeah, it works though. I mean, they try, they try to do that, but it just, it, they're going to, people are going to do what they're going to do. They did that over here in Irondale raceway. They did the same thing there to try yeah. to control it. They put, uh, they literally put uh, big old round bumps across the intersection yeah. Uh, to try to stop it, but they just tear them up. They just keep on going in circles. This is what I want to know. Do you know how much those tires cost? Those tires are not cheap on no, those not or on those motorcycles yeah. or in the yeah. whatever. So I think to myself, damn, like you must have some change. Well, if you if yeah. you look at the age bracket, a yeah. lot of the and, and I see them around here too, where I yeah. live. They're living with their parents, uh, so they yeah. have that money to just throw it's some new here. tires yeah. on you see what i'm saying because they're living with their parents. <laughs> yeah yeah but but the thing is when i watch videos like that video i watched that day i think uh one of the police officers were saying uh talking to ali khan and he said because he goes oh man ali khan told me you got well they're just throwing bottles at you you know plastic bottles he goes well i got a broken nose from one you know not that day but previous you know so yeah. but uh he doesn't condone that either, which I agree with him, you know, uh, but it's just they're, they're right now they're cracking down on cruising, man, taking yeah. cruising away. And then but to be truthful to you, we screwed up for ourselves, man, you yeah. know, because you see a lot of these youngsters on yeah. cruise night. Yeah. They're in the middle of the street, they're dancing mm-hmm. in the middle of the street, partying in right. the middle of the street while all these cruisers are going by. And, right. then, and those those are all youngsters. The guys in the mm-hmm. cruiser in the older cars, they're they're. Yeah. They know they yeah. they know what's up. Yeah, yeah. they know what's up. But those yeah. people in the, in the middle of the intersection are, are getting you know they're gonna get hit. They're anyway. doing their little TikTok videos in the middle of the street. Yeah. You know what's funny? Like out here, it's a two. Like I was talking about the cows and share here, but it's a two lane speed uh-huh. limit's like fifty five, but every pretty much is like sixty five, even though it's a two lane road. And there's mm-hmm. cows, right? And I'm thinking to myself. I'm, and it's on the way, it's on the way to Vegas. So some people take this way. And so I literally was driving up the other day, going my normal 65, whatever. And these kids are standing on the middle, on the, in the middle of the lane, freaking Mm -hmm. doing freaking TikToks or taking pictures. And I'm thinking to myself, this is a freaking freeway. Are you like, we're so insulated that they have no concept that this is not a background scenery. Right, you, this you, is an you know, actual thing. Yeah, they do this stuff for an adrenaline rush, right? Yeah. And and, and back in the days, I, I don't know if it's because they they're not gang banging or or, or whatever, right. but right. they're getting some kind of rush out of it. But there is yeah. weapons involved, and there is serious injuries involved. 
I seen some people yeah. get knocked out flying, hit, run over. Yeah. And, and it's crazy. Yeah. But I have killings with those uh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Turnouts here in my city. Anyway. I see people paralyzed, like it's no that's no joke. Yeah, it's, 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 it's turning and then they fall yeah. out and it's just yeah. Mess, you know, it's a mess. Yeah, and, and it's crazy, but that's how, but like going back to when we were young, we acted up in our ways, okay? And now that we're older, that's the way they're yeah. leashing out, lashing so out, come out to try to get attention, you know, and adrenaline, you know, before it was like, let's go to Whittier Boulevard because, you know, either we're going to get into it with somebody or we're going to pick up on some hyenas, you know what I'm saying? That's how it was back yeah. in the days, you know? I, I used to cruise it back in the 70s and, and 80s, late 70s and 80s, and even 90s. But uh, they had the, the, the what do you call it? The police uh, bus out there, and they yep. used to be on uh, horses. They used to be on horses, and, man, and they were taking people to jail. Here lately, I really don't see other than we're going to take your car away or you, we're going to shut it down, but they're not putting anybody in jail. And, and right now, if you really look at the situation on these cruises, you see people out in the street drinking and driving yeah. and, and yeah. just like and uh, doing things that is it is illegal, you know. But uh, mm -hmm. that's what what we do. That's what everywhere we used to go, you know. Yeah. And, and and it's a trip though. But um, the like that thing that happened Sunday, I looked at the majority of the people. They were real young. I mean, real mm -hmm. young. You know, and and they had their Mexican flags out, and yeah, celebrate, man, for the for the win, you know. And uh, but uh, the burnouts gets attention, you yeah. know, yeah. gets a yeah, cop attention, sure. and, 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 and it probably could have went on even longer if they if they wouldn't have done that, you know, just like yeah. a celebration, like if you win the NBA finals or whatever, you know, they celebrate in the street, you know. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that gets crazy too, you know. Yeah, it just. Uh, yeah. part of celebration you know yeah and a lot of people are barely getting uh cruising van lifted like here in salinas up they just yeah. got lifted after like 30 years yeah and, yep. yeah and i think in um one of is it a uh, hot rod 209 and he follows yeah channel yeah yeah he, yeah so he he posts on stuff and like on ig he always keeps up on this stuff so I, i'm like okay what do you say about it I think in Modesto or somewhere in the valley too, like he said, they just lifted um, the band. Yeah, because they do like a version of like Hot August Nights with like, yeah. it's kind of a version of it, but yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's Neat. like, it's a shame, you know, a lot of places are barely getting it back. So, you, 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 know, it, you know, you know, that's true, Jen, because uh, like the older cats, like me, and the, they, they just take their bombs out or whatever and have a good time with the family. It's like family oriented, but mm -hmm. the youngers, uh one sees somebody that hey they're from a different area or they're from this crew or or even somebody that i had too much to drink or or you know yeah. sets it off that that just sets it off like that you know and yeah. and it's sad man it's sad but you know it's something that happens all the time but uh it's like enjoy life man that's how i can but i me back in the days I was like that. You know what I'm saying? When we went to Whittier Boulevard, things sure. yeah. blah, blah, blah. But you know what? Now, as, as you get older, man, it just, you want to see the finer things in life. And, and people, uh, I see a lot of uh, different neighborhoods getting together without any quarrels or anything. And that's one of the best things that I could see, man, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and, and I like that, man. In the car club uh, thing. And, yeah. and it's dope, man. It's good, man. Um, I have to go. I have to go feed my animals, so I'm gonna sign off before the moon comes out and the, the coyotes start howling. So um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, watch yeah, out for the coyotes. And the have a blessed, have a blessed week, there, sister. You guys have too. Good nice seeing you guys. Nice nice you. You. I'll talk Love you, Jen. Love you. Bye, guys. That was such. A yeah. So, other than that, man, there's things like that happen. You know, it's just yeah. we gotta we gotta learn how to. Uh, Self-control, man. It's called self-control, mm -hmm. man. You know. Yeah, and, and that kind of goes back to what we were saying earlier. Like it, it can give the whole community a bad look. You know. Yeah, yeah, Depending yeah. And a, and a lot of people, they look. We, I, man, I love gathering with a bunch of people that and having a good time, dancing and, and enjoying themselves. You know, and, and uh, 
but when it comes to all that other stuff that mm -hmm. then the cops come and shut it down that yeah. sucks man but but they I do know. got a they do got a uh alley sheriffs do got a thing for that uh, doing that man you know mm -hmm. and it is so to me it's like uh there's other places that they cruise now it's like they, you know we're gonna meet here we're gonna meet there wherever you know and, and uh, yeah. I love that. I love that scene. I used to do that a lot, man. I used to yeah. do that a lot. Yeah. Denise, you mentioned the same thing. Like you said, a lot of most of the, the older guys, they just want to go out with their cars, cruise, and it's, it's the family thing, yeah. you know. And I, I've seen like even you had posted different car events in the past too. People are having a good time, enjoying it, and living it up. Yeah. Like it's peaceful, and it is. It's familia. It's not like how others are presenting it to be so i i don't know one year we got people that come to our cruise nights from la and they're wearing their los hats their la hats mm -hmm. you know they're they're chilling they're riding they're driving their cars and you know our people down here they don't show them in the middle of the street they're not they're not doing all that craziness yeah you know i think um as for right now they haven't done that you know, I'm just speaking on what we've had lately. We've had, um, since they closed Whittier, we've had a lot of cars come down here. And that confidential guy that's filmed, he's filmed I see, down here. I, I seen that. Yeah. I seen that one one incident where somebody says, hey, we don't need Whittier Boulevard. Some dude from Orange County. No, Anaheim. I'm sorry. He goes, mm -hmm. we don't really need Whittier Boulevard. But that's his opinion, you know. Oh, it's yeah. just, let's all have, let's all be peaceful and have fun. Because it's not about you know, LA, Orange County, this and that. Just enjoy a, a meet with other people, you know, and, and a function, man. Just a just a function, period, man. So where everybody could show their cars and yeah. and and you know, do you know how, how much money they've been spending on their cars, man? Oh, yeah. You're talking about hundred grand plus, hundred grand plus yeah. on custom paint jobs and everything, man. Yeah. Back in the days, when we were cruising Whittier Boulevard, and we didn't, I mean, you know, we're Poor Cholo, we're Cholos. We say, okay, let's get a big old block of cement and we'll put it right here on this side. Let's put a couple of bricks on here and, and, and then lower the car. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we yeah. did what we had to do, you know? Yeah. And But now people are spending big time money on it, you know? Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. It's a trick. Do you guys think, I don't know if I, we have time, Jen, but I need. I wanted to bring up. Uh, yeah. Oh. Um, what do you guys think about the looters that they see um, looting all these stores, walking in there and walking out with just a bunch of, mm -hmm. uh, you know, not only the jewelry, but like clothing. And now we're, we're seeing a lot of uh, food, groceries, you know, people yeah. are walking out with tons of groceries. And I'm just like, man, like we're seeing it more often and mm -hmm. you, you know, yeah, they have insurance for all that stuff, but that's not the point. You, right? you know what, Denise? The other day I seen on the news, it was a, a new uh, law that passed or whatever. They're not going to uh, put you in jail if you commit a crime like that. They're going to release you oh, immediately. They're going to they'll arrest you and they'll release you immediately. Yeah, you know, so release, yeah. a lot of people, a lot of these, it, it gets into the kid's head saying, hey, let's go do this. We'll be out tomorrow anyhow, you know, blah, 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 you know, whatever, you know. But to me, it's, it's crazy how things are changing, you know, yeah. uh, because a, a lot of people are getting away with stuff. And the, the smash and grab thieves, man, that's yeah. that's crazy, man. That and every bunch, you have it. Every bunch you have it, you know. Yeah. And you're right, Denise, from every level, like you mentioned, you know, a lot of it, it can be from the very higher up of things. Like I saw this post uh, on IG the other day. It's this guy. He's a. He was, he's like the ex-husband. I hate to even say it, but I know who he was married to because of what she used to do, but she's a child of God too. So uh, <laughs> he's the ex-husband of, um, what's her name? Jenna Jameson. And um, oh, yeah, she's like a retired uh, adult film star, I guess is the technical oh, one. But um, Isn't she, she's not the comedian? Is no, she a comedian? No, that not what I Must heard. Must be a different. Not comedic acting. She was a, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm thinking a different person then, because <laughs> yeah. I was thinking she's a comedian. She was a like I on. Think I know you're I talking know. about. Yeah, but that's it's a different person. But yeah. this chick's ex-husband is a diamond uh, and jewels dealer, 
and mm -hmm. he has offices somewhere down there in LA like area and he was like legit live filming and he must have been on the second floor or something because you could tell his phone was pointed down mm -hmm. and he was filming this man literally walked into like a Rolex store or something and purchased an item I'm sure a pricey item right mm -hmm. and walked out and he, these guys had to be trailing him, right? Because the second he walked out, people all in black, you can't see their face, their hands, nothing. They're covered everywhere. Just basically swoop up on him, grab his stuff. He didn't even fight back, which is smart in that situation because they did have weapons. And grabbed his stuff and jammed. And this guy, you know, that was the jewels dealer is like, this is sad that this is what it's like he said i used to see this when they would go to south africa and like harvest gems over there you know that they would have people swooping up on them out there and taking the gems back that they had harvested um and now i mean it's i'm sure it's happened forever but it's just so in your face now like in broad daylight yeah and he's like, it's like his up and went in there and dropped like you know probably ten thousand dollars and the second he walked out, was robbed of it. Yeah. But yeah. You know, that is. The other day, just um, this guy was filming him and he's like, does that feel good? Does that feel good to you? Look, why are you doing that? Why are you doing this? And their, their three baskets were filled with like um, detergent, you know, like yeah. washed like Tide and, and all this other stuff. And what is they're that? just going in the car. And he's filming them, and then he yeah. gets their license plate. I see so that one too. I don't think they got I see, with that one. I I went into a store, and it was during Christmas time, right? And mm -hmm. in the handicapped, there was a van parked in there, and it wasn't handicapped. They went in the store, walked, got these carts, filled them up big time, mm -hmm. and just walked out with them. And one, even one girl went and grabbed all these toys like this and a, a big thing, and she just walked out. And they didn't do nothing, and I'm looking at them like, "Gee, but See, they, they know all this stuff already." Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's too much, man. Can you? It is. I mean, we all work for our shit, like. Yeah, it is, and it's cool to see that. But you know what? It's I saw this uh, a couple months ago. My daughter and I went to the grocery store, Safeway, and I didn't. I noticed there was a commotion going on. You know, when she came out, and the workers kind of ran out and they were looking at opposite way and that's exactly what happened somebody went in there yeah their cart was tied like you said of all products i don't know what it is everybody wants tight yeah. <laughs> and they ran out ran to a van and loaded it up but you, you know guys you i know gotta you tell you guys this real quick i gotta tell you the story oh, so okay. me and my husband were sitting at jack in a box and we decided to go inside and eat right so we go in there we eat and we look and this guy walks in Gavacho walks in and he tells the girl hey could i use a restroom and she says only no it's only for the people that you know eat here Shop. yeah yeah he goes oh that's not american and this guy sitting down <laughs> this, this chicano sitting here mm -hmm. he goes get the fuck out of here he tells him. <laughs> and the guy turns around and he goes what what did you tell me and we're looking like Wow, this is really going down right now. Uh -huh. And I'm just, we're, I mean, it lasted a long time because I didn't put my phone out right away. You know how people put their phones out right away? Yes. Trying to get everything. And I'm like, I ain't doing that. That's not, that's not me, right? Right. But it got heated to where the guy swung at him, at the guy sitting down, at the Chicano dude. He, he swung at him, right? And I said, oh no, I'm turning this phone on. And I turned it on and I put it like that. Like it wasn't hiding. I wasn't yeah. hiding. I, I yeah. just took on my soda and it's pointing right at them. Mm -hmm. And they just kept going and going and going. So this thing lasted, I'm not lying, for like 10 minutes. And I tell my husband, let's just go, you know? Yeah. And as we were getting up and getting ready to leave, I um, grabbed my phone and we throw our trash and we're walking outside. But the guy, the Gavacho walks in front and he, he leaves finally. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, hearing somebody yell so I, I go up i like look and it's him in his car in his car so i turn my phone back on and i'm recording like i'm saying like, yeah, <laughs> da, 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 and come out punk, da, 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 and all this crap but uh, 
I, I, I go, man, that's a trip to witness something like that. You know, yeah, a lot, you of it happens, a lot of it's happening like, in these games. But. That's crazy. Right? Don't you feel like in those situations, I always, I've only been in them a few times, but you kind of feel like you, I just assess the whole area because you never know if somebody's right. going to pull something out, you know, yes. when it's going to be taken to the next level. You really don't know. Yeah. And you know what, sister? I even, yeah, told, true. I even told my husband, I said, look, that was a wake up call because we sat here and we watched that shit. Yeah. I said next time we're just gonna get up and bounce because yeah. you don't know. I I didn't even think of that because we're eating, so I didn't think, yeah, get up and leave. Mm -hmm. But he could have had something and it could have got all bad, you know. Yeah. And I told him, man, next time we had we had time to really like mm -hmm. talk about that, you know. And I said, next time, man, that happened, we're just gonna get up and leave. Yeah, and that's an important conversation that you guys had. You know, that's a good thing that you talked about after because it's true. Yeah. And in those situations when somebody does do the worst mistake ever and decide to bust on someone, it normally never hits the person they intend for it to hit. It's always the innocent bystander that gets it. Yeah. The bullets have no names, you know that. And yeah, and, yeah. and it's sad. So you gotta you gotta be careful, man. Oh, so yeah. I mean, that opened my eyes to that. I, I, I like uh, when I go somewhere, if I do something, I always analyze everything and, and scope everything out. Not like I'm pan, um, I'm like paranoid or nothing like that. I just check out everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Before, yeah. Maybe, to make sure everything's cool. You know, I'm always, I don't know if it's because back in the days, you're just always on the up and up looking, watching out, you know? So. And, and, oh, but that's uh, more, you know, assess your surroundings. You yeah, know? yeah, that's that's a good thing, Jen. That's a good thing to do, man, because you yeah. never know, man. Like one time, and this is what I did in church, okay? I was in church, and this new guy came in, right? And I, I never seen him before, but I seen a tattoo on him, and he was all tatted back, and, and he had the Oath Keeper symbol on him right here. And then he had he had a big old knife about, <laughs> about this big, you know, on his side. And I, said, I, said, I was like, Hmm, who comes to church with a knife on yeah. their side of their hip, you know? Mm -hmm. So my thing is I'm like, I'm watching him because if anything were to happen, you know, you'd have to protect the, the flock. You have to protect, you know? Right. So, and, and so I was like, question, I, you know, I was like questioning afterwards, like, uh, does anybody know this guy or this and that, you know, and he was out of state. He knew somebody from that was going there so they he came you know but i was like man i don't even carry a filetto into to church <laughs> you know but uh but i'm like always on the up and up there man you know just like those other people because things like that happen people go crazy and they just want to yeah. cause havoc you know so yeah. it's just like you got to keep your eye on that person you know yeah, yeah. most definitely most definitely that's, yeah, that's um, right, Jojo. That's just in, yeah. it's instilled with us, Jojo. Yeah, that's right. And you saw Jojo AZ's comment back there too, Denise. <laughs> yeah, should have backed him up, Denise. <laughs> <Don't>, <laughs> I'm getting the back <laughs> Hey, go, yeah, right. Denise, you got your little piece there. You know? <laughs> Learn how to knife fight. I that's oh, I've seen a, a couple of those. Never ended well. <laughs> Never ended That's well. right. That's right, Monica. Yeah. What That's right, man. Yep. yep. It is. It's a, uh, you know, even despite how we learn to be that way, it is something that has helped our survival over the years. It's like, it's like when you, you grow up in a gang, it's, it's a military kind of like aspect. You know, you watch your surroundings, you look, you do what you do, you know, and, and, and it's, it's just the way you're, taught and the way you learn you know things you know I have and, a question um, else. yeah you know how back so you're you're way older than me so hey i'm just kidding um back in the day though back in the day when your parents like raised you and and we're all raised the same everybody here is probably raised the same as that our parents taught us to well we're in the barrio so we're fighting other barrio right and other chicanos other mexicanos and stuff so so being that, do you think that's why today we see a lot of the backbiting and stuff like that with, with one another? Um, okay, the, going back to, uh, I remember. Not necessarily love. 
this is this is how I, my lifestyle was okay uh, i'm just saying that from experience is that i had 11 older brothers and sisters mm -hmm. and the older ones like were somewhere in, in in prison others were from other gangs you know so it's like we i seen we moved to one area right and then all of a sudden one of my family members get into this gang and so now my other family members from a different gang right so trouble starts so then my jefita says hey let's move to another area yeah. so we did same thing happens now my brothers <laughs> my other brothers get into another video and what happens same thing people were coming to our house and a lot of trouble a lot of stuff but back then in the days it was bats sticks you know bottles everything that come and do what wow. they did you know yeah. and uh to, so seeing that all happen mm -hmm. uh in the earlier days i used to not be wanting to be called my my real name in in english in spanish you know what i'm saying because we were called wetbacks and that i didn't like that you know what i'm saying because back in the days that's how it was so as we, we grew up we lived in uh like okay first we went to azusa was a good neighborhood we all my mom and dad owned a house there then we went to la puente then we went to valinda west covina uh baldwin park flores and then to norwalk then back to flores you know but so it's 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 a trip yet your question was again i think i'm getting off track it was that you know we fought all the barrios back in the day and they were just like us chicanos yeah do you think that's why it's the same today is when when you see everybody kind of backbiting now you, you know what it is is because it's it's instilled in our generations it goes right. back because the older people some learn some don't some people some men change some don't now i know a lot of people that were hardcore gangsters you know and they change their lives so they don't condone that anymore you know what i'm saying and now uh but some people don't see that change because they already instilled that within them you know it's instilled in us yeah that's yeah, my it's instilled that's because my, it, that's like my. what we do is we tear each other down big time and rather some than lift each so other up it, it yeah ain't it ain't pride it, it's it's but, it, more than that it's because you know what it is uh it is. speaking speaking biblically it's a spiritual warfare okay and it's not they the enemy uses these people that he can okay and he uses us because like uh, oppression and all this other stuff and he'll use us to do wrong you know because uh other uh ethnic ethnicities are different you know how they raise their their family they don't have no issues but i see a difference in the uh what do you call that the asian community mm -hmm. i see a lot of difference in the asian community because when i first seen my asian cholo with all i was at lake paris and he comes out all yoked out all tatted up and i'm like this looking at like what because i never seen that before you know what i'm saying but it, it, it's like it does go from generation to generation because i look back on my dad he was from uh los angeles he was his name was rabbit he had a tatted on him and he was he was a pachuco you know what i'm saying and then it goes down to the other family members and just like some all of my family members are just like either like from compton norwalk uh frogtown uh cantaranas you know just uh lomas you know and um uh, they're really deep into that and they still are even even as older they still are i have a lot of love for them and they're they're good people i mean they're not like out they're they're older than me as a matter of fact they're older than me but i have a lot of love for them man some i haven't seen not once because my family's so big and we just everybody just spread out you know but yeah it's a trip man but i think it's it's it goes from generation to generation you know and that comes from that's why I see my my sons. I wanted them growing up normal, kind of like you know, not into these gangs. My daughter hit hit a little bit of that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She hit a little bit of the hanging with the cholas and thought she was street smart and and this and that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so 
she was, you know, she used to come. I, one time I came home from, from uh, work and she had my Ben Davis's on and my, my jersey on and everything. And I'm like, what the hell? I said, you want my clothes, huh? And then, yeah, she did, you know? And yeah. and so it just like, it, but now I hope my kids see the change in me, you know? Because I do, although I dress the way I dress, I don't think I, I, I will change because I'm comfortable here. I, I lived like this for many years, you know? And this is just me, but I hope they see the change, mm -hmm. uh, how I'm changing into going to church godly and, and, and really getting into God more, you know, and, and, and it's not because before that, what I gave them as they were growing up is, Hey, my house, the party house, you know, and <laughs> Hey, let's do, let's go party. Let's drink. Let's, and, and they say, that's your fault. Dad, you used to do that to us. And now they do that, you know, but I'm sober, you know, it was, I put it to a point where I says it's either me or, or, or my kids or the alcohol or the drugs. Uh, it's my kids. My kids are more important to me, man. You know, and, and uh, now now what gets me, keeps me going is my grandkids. Uh, yeah. And, and that's, it's a blessing, man. They, they are a blessing. And no matter, and, and it's funny, man, because, you know, if we were a, a blended family, because I have four that are not mine, but they are mine. And they right. know me as, as grandpa. And it's, it's a blessing because, uh, mm -hmm. you know, to see two families come together is like, uh, and in peace is a good thing because not it's not always happening like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Hey, Jen, I know you had another topic. You want to touch on that real fast? Um, go for it. Which one is that? The oh, yeah. The Did you look into that one or no? I did, yeah. So, um, so the Cowboys signed, uh, I'm going to use Mexicano, that word. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, so they signed a Mexicano dude for their offensive tackle. His name's Isaac. Um, gee, I can't, I don't know if you could help me out with the last name. Ali, Al, Alacron. Alarcon. Alarcon. Alicron? Well, in Spanish, Alicron. right? Alicron. 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 And they're saying that he's the first NFL draft, right? Mm -hmm. And um, I was looking at, they were showing his helmet. They showed his helmet. I don't know if you guys could see his helmet. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. He put, that, he, he put that on his helmet, which I thought, mm -hmm. right on, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Once you said Cowboys, I had to go like this. I didn't want to hear nothing. <laughs> <laughs> You know, let's see what he's what he's about. Um, yeah. That's kind of all that I have. I didn't have a lot. Just that they signed him this this year to um, they drafted him. Um, hey, there has to be a a, a lot more uh, uh, Mexicans or or how would I say Chicanos or whoever getting into football and all these other yeah. things, man. Well, because he said that because um, uh, McCarthy, the owner, or no, it was Jerry Jones or Jerry Jerry. Um, what's the last? What's his name? Uh, not Jerry Jones. Well, the the while you do that real quick, here's the little little snippet that I had saved. It you know it was titled "Keep Chasing Your Dreams." A Cowboy hopeful aims to be the first Mexican-born player on the NFL roster. Yeah, yeah. and because um, oh, he was born in he was born in Mexico. Yeah, yeah. So okay. he was he joined the Cowboys in 2020. But um, something happened with the program that he was, uh, the PIP program, or I'm sorry, not PIP, IPP program, where he was going to have to go back, I think, to Mexico. But they brought him in. So they're bringing him from, I think he was playing um, offense. And they're going to put him on defense just to make a position for him to go ahead and keep him. So that was pretty cool that they're willing to. I don't know a lot about you know his history with the team. But I'm assuming yeah. that it's pretty, you know, he would fit in pretty well. And he's an asset enough that they're making some ways for him to stick around. You know what I don't understand, Jen, is how they get this when it comes to a Mexican, how they, they're making a thing out of it. But, you know, you got all these Russians and different countries yeah. coming into the basketball and other sports like that. And, and they're not bringing up their their uh, immigration status or, or stuff mm -hmm. like that, you know. You but know, um think about that it, it's like yeah because you see them you know and uh but we, 
uh, soccer, you got you got Mexicans in the soccer game, you know, you know. Yeah. There's a lot of hoops that they have the jump. Have a best night, like, Monica. Like when I worked for the college, I was um, I was doing the testing, the exit testing, and a lot of or en enter the entering testing, and um, a lot of Marines will go there and Army guys, and <laughs> let's just say they had to pass that test to go to the Army or to the Navy, and somehow mm -hmm. you know way it was passed and uh, a lot of those guys ended up getting recruited yeah. um, but Jerry Jones said that because in Texas where the Dallas Cowboys are from half of their half of their fans are Mexican you know Mexicans yeah in Texas. Half of their, half okay. of their fan, fan wow. base. so I was like that makes sense you know yeah yeah that's what's up yeah that's a pretty cool little little story there to see um just say it, Asa. That's right. Hey, hey, Jen, who's your football team? Do you got a football team? See, I'm like mixed. I had told Denise this before, too, because my family's half Cowboys, half yeah. 49ers. So I always feel torn down the middle. Like, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings, but, that's, I, you know, it just. So you're a, you're, a cow, you're a Cowboy Niner, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, Jojo. OG Scotty. Hey, Jojo Talent, puro uh, Steelers, Jojo. Yeah. <laughs> that's right Aww. yeah that's, yeah yeah that's a pretty cool little little um story though to hear about Salute, andrew yes yeah, andrew good to see you it's been a minute to see you too yeah, yeah. it's good to see you brother what do you say cubo denise house the tattoo for now oh okay so what do we have coming up this week? House, are you doing anything um, on your channel this week? Or what do you have? You know what? I was, I was talking to Crust. We got to do a do-over for Crust. Okay. You know, I, and when he has time, because he's a night owl, but when he has time, because I want him to come over here and, and set off the wall of fame or the wall of shame right there and get in front and, and do his singing right there in the front. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got, I got people that I, I keep in contact with that, that would come on and do these things. It's just me lagging. Like, yeah, cause I've been be, to be truthful to you. This mm -hmm. last couple months has been, I had a lot on my plate and I've been dealing with that. That's first and foremost is life, you know? So I, now that I got it resolved and it was a fight, man, I was, you know, but I, I got it resolved, you know? And so now I'm doing what I have to do and everything's cool and er everything's, everything's better. Yeah. So, what I'm gonna I plan on doing is trying to do that with Crust and see because uh, we went on live together a, a few days ago because I was testing it out, but and it was cool. I went on uh, what is it? I used um, what's that one for OBS? Okay. So that on my screen you now I could have the multiple screen, the multiple cameras that I have. I could use them all on one. Oh yeah, nice. one thing. You know, okay. so that, that's what I did on there. How so was that? did you like that? It, it, yeah, I kind of like it because I went live on YouTube and then I used it so you can see where they're going to get in front of the thing. You can see the other person that's going to be sitting next over here or whatever, you know, like right here. My son, this is in the, uh, my son wants to plan this, okay? Okay. And he says, hey, dad, we need to uh, do a YouTube, uh, not a YouTube, it's a, a tattoo party for the YouTubers, you know, it's people that I know and this and that. And he says he'll come and help out. He, he's a tattoo artist also. He does some some work, you know. And I said, that sounds like a pretty good thing to do, you know. But not yet until everything gets settled down. But I'm contemplating that, you know. Yeah. Yeah. To, to invite, like, Denise. Never, Denise and, and Jen, you know, come over. But not big ones. You know, little ones. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so we could, and, and just yeah. everybody enjoy. You know, have some good food and enjoy. And, and, and you know, and uh, and have a good time, man. You yeah, know? I think that and, sounds like, I mean, just my own personal opinion, that sounds like a blast. Like, and yeah. if you plan it enough in advance that, like, people can make arrangements to get there. Yeah, yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, because we were talking, we we're talking about that, man, because my son, he wants, he does some good work, too, man. He does some real good work. Hi, Salton. Hi, Trucker. Salud, yeah. Cholo Trucker. That's right. Thank you guys for yeah, having me. Yeah, my nephew had those. Um, he's an artist, too, and he, uh, those little ones, you know, so that you could get done and get people mm -hmm. in, and you know, it only takes. Yeah, time. yeah, so, you know, like the they have that Friday the Thirteenth special or whatever, but you yeah. know, yeah, exactly. yeah. 
right. But you know, other than that, the, you know, I used to do uh, tattoo parties before, you know, and mm -hmm. sometimes I'd be there tattooing from 10 in the morning to like midnight, you know? Yeah, yeah. Strange Days of House, can you pass this please? Strange Days, no, I wouldn't do that to you, bro. You know, I wouldn't do that, bro. I love yeah. you too much to, to uh, do that, almost, you know? Brother, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Not so, yeah, you got people that want to be there. So that's yeah, great. yeah, and, and and it's a chill environment, you know, chill, man, and, and just have like a good that. time, man. Yeah, yeah, like that. yeah, yeah, that'll be that'll be cool. And Denise, yeah. what about you? You got your house all done. You got your yep, room, yep. your yard yeah. all ready with your. I mean, they look beautiful in the picture. So now you can just kind of kick back and wait for the weather to cool down, huh? Yeah, just need some landscaping stuff done. Um, you know, Denise, have have you contemplated getting air conditioning installed or or, or uh, what do you call that? Uh, I have my central air, <laughs> central air, you know. Yeah, I I mean everything takes money, so he yeah, was, yeah, you know he was like, let's do the house first, and then I mean we've done other things, um, we've gotten other things, but you know he's basically yeah. like the sole worker working right now um, yeah yeah i just get a little bit of income because i had messed up my back a while back and i have bolts and screws in there and i don't know sometimes see that back. that's what i'm afraid the way they want to do surgery i don't want to do surgery like that because yeah um, yeah well, they i had to like, open up my disc you know yeah because like, they were they could crush in there yeah infuse it so it oh yeah oh, okay Thing, you know, yeah. welcome, uh, Miss Chicano, too, for the first time I, that I've seen you so far. Uh, just started Hello, Miss Chicano, too. You know, you, you know, know. Oh, that's yeah, I, I, um, my sister got that done where they fused her, her back together. She was down for like two years, man. Yeah. Two years, yeah. So, so, like, you know, yeah, we're gonna uh, just kick back and then just, uh, Jucho. Get all you know, <laughs> see what's next on the on the house yeah. um that's good man so yeah yeah at least at least you guys are doing the right good things with it you know whatever how you're doing it you know you're upgrading your house you're making it look good and, and you, you know you're doing what you, you do because you live there you know and it's right. good man yeah yeah and and that's good man i take a lot of the inside i do a lot of chuko, are you talking chuko what there's a couple of chukos the one that passed away uh sinaloa Wow. First time. Welcome. 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 Yes. What are we yes. for? Yes. Mrs. Chicano Tube, the one and only. Yeah. Mikey's, Mikey's wife. Okay. Yes, this beautiful wife. I call her Christina. I've called her Christina in the past. So Just gorgeous. Like, and, and such a beautiful person inside and out. It's such an honor to have you here. Thank you. Yeah, I seen half of your, your interview with him. You, you and him chopping it up earlier today. Yeah. Wow. That was such a real blessing to hear, you know. And, and a lot of the testimony he shared, that was pretty cool to hear about, uh, you know, some of that. Uh, can you go back to that one thing? Who, what's the name said about Chuko? Uh, what let, me his name? let me see. What did he say? Hi, Randy Jean. Oh, Randy Jean, you in here? Hey, Randy Jean. Let me see. Um, Chuko or Chucho? No, he said Chuko afterwards. But if it, if it's a Chuko that used to do uh, work for Greenspans and do all the dressing, uh, uh, the modeling for Greenspans, and he's all tatted back, uh, rest in peace. Yeah, I never met him. I never met. Uh, yeah, the, yeah. Well, no, the two, tattoo artist Chuko, the one out of Orange County. I never met. I never met him. Uh, okay. I seen his work. Yeah, I seen his work. Uh, he gets down. He gets down. You too, Andrew. Yeah, he gets down. Chuko, he gets down. Yeah, that's what's up. Mrs. Chicano, too. That's right. Hey, man, uh, Jojo from Long Beach be bringing that fire music, man. He be digging into some crates and playing some some good music, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we talked, and he said his dad showed him a lot of that stuff. Yeah. Hey, how old is Jojo LB? He looks what, like in his thirties or what? Let him tell. Let him tell it. Jojo, how how old are you, Jojo LB? You look like you're what about thirty eight. Let's see what he says right now. He's, his birthday's coming in November. Ooh, that's, oh, you got November, okay? Man, I, I love yeah, to dress for green. I, I love to do uh, uh, 
mm-hmm. I love to do a photo shoot for Greenspans and show them how it's really done, you know? Uh-huh. So, the Chuco style, man. Yeah, that would be fire, right? You can't, you, can't, you can't come out in pictures and photos like I've been seeing, no creases or just throwing them on. Okay, hey, look at this, you know? You got, you got to be creased down. Right. You got to do it right, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Sure. So this week, let's see what Jojo says, but this week I've got something going on tomorrow. I'm not going to put it all the way out there. Another interview I'm hoping to film, but it won't be up and ready until like the next, the following week. So, and then I'm going to try to do another live. I got to start doing some more lives. We got to go live more too, sis. When you're down hey, I guess you're right then, Jojo, huh? Oh, yeah. Or, are you right on the dot? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what the... <clears throat> But as far as that, too, I can't He's 45. <laughs> the back to school for my little one already. Uh, oh. Like, ready? I don't know where the summer went, but oh. she goes back two weeks from tomorrow. That yeah. Went by yeah, August is, uh, they start school over here in August, you know? Yeah. She goes so, back yeah. August 9th. And, but this is the first time in my life in a long, long time. That I've had only one child in school. Well, wow. I'm gonna have kids in college, but I mean, in the school, yeah. system, I'll just have one. Man, hey, time flies by, Jen. I'm telling you, man, my yeah. time flies by, man. But you know what? Enjoy every day, man, and look and try to be positive every day, no matter what happens, you know, because yeah. uh, it gets, tr- you know, there's trials out there, man. But you know, just try to keep on. Keeping positive, man, and uh, thank be thankful when you wake up and you're breathing, you know, yes, because yeah. uh, that's more important than any money. Because money sometimes uh, it's necessary, but uh, I'd rather have health than money. Oh, me too. Any day, every day, absolutely. That's the truth. That it's funny you say that. I was thinking. I haven't been thinking recently. I guess because she's my my baby, like the last one. Mm-hmm. I'm like, man, this is the last time I'm going to have a child this age. Like, I better soak up every moment, every every hug, every – because the next phase is going to be, you know, the teenage – and the teenage daughter phase whew, is way different than the yeah. teenage phase. Even I then, know how that is. Then, I, you know, I know how that is. Man, I remember having to uh, buy all that stuff from my daughter being in that – what do they call that? Homecoming queen – and all that other stuff, you know, and prom, and yeah. and uh, not only that, just uh, a, a lot of stuff, man. Just different stuff, mm-hmm. man. Yeah. right? And see, now I get to, I kind of got to experience that through my daughters because I didn't yeah, yeah. do all those things. Like my daughter one day had told me, like, "Well, mom, you should know this." She was frustrated with me, rightfully so, and because she didn't realize until I said, "Honey, I I didn't get, I was a mother already." You know, at this at your age, I didn't mm-hmm. go to prom or, or a dance or yeah. I was a mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was yeah. So it, it yeah. took her a minute, and then she's like, "Oh, I'm sorry, mom. I didn't think." I'm like, "No, I didn't tell you that to make you feel bad." But like this is exciting for me to see you going to get to experience these things because I didn't get to. Yeah, so, yeah, it's a blessing, man. Right. Um. Is, one thing I have to say about that, Jen, is that. From my experience is that we um, teach our kid, you know, we teach our daughters things that we want them to be taught, right? Yeah. And when they get older, going through their teens, um, they're gonna act out. But mm-hmm. I, I, of course, we love them anyways. You know what I mean? And it's a trip to see them act out mm-hmm. um, with certain things. But we, I would just say, like, let them. Because that's kind of what we showed them and how to talk, how how to be women is strong, even if they're mouth mouthing off. I mean, mm-hmm. we taught them some of that, you know, and <laughs> take that with them. Jojo, yeah, so I'm laughing at Jojo. What he's saying because that's true. What and you know what? I can tell the story on that man. Not 25 miles, but <laughs> I used to walk five miles to school to get to school because I didn't want to leave Norwalk High School. And I lived in Southside Whittier, so I would just be just bouncing back and forth to, to school, man. And so that that I told my kids because they used to complain going down the street here. I says, "Man, 
let me tell you the story. <laughs> yeah. so I did that too. And I, I walked and walked and my mom let me get my cruiser. I had a Schwinn and I had my brothers paint it like a gray color. And I had those, the rim, the wheels, um, like over the rim, over the tire. Um, I had it all. It was nice. And I went to school where I was rivals with the girls there. Mm-hmm. They ended up stealing my bike like a week later. I was so pissed. Oh, man. That's crazy. Well, that's, you know, you, yeah. you know what? Uh, when I got hit by that car, that '64 Impala, mm-hmm. and so after I recovered, my brother-in-law bought me a brand new bike, right? So I was riding it, and this is when I lived in Florida, and I was riding it down the street. And he lived a block around, so I went down this way, and this way, and I parked it. I got out and went inside for a couple minutes. Came out and somebody stole my bike. Man. <laughs> no somebody way. stole my bike. Yeah, brand new bike, man. I was like, damn wow. it, you know. No, yeah, that's it's cool. yeah. Well, but, I kind of have the opposite uh, story of both of those. My first nice bike that I had, my first Schwinn. You know how I got it? How oh, you stole it? No, never. <laughs> you stole it. No. <laughs> you borrowed it. Down. Well, check it out. Somebody, well, we down off of Natividad, this is where my dad used to live. Somebody was trying to break into the house, right? And these these boys were on bikes. So Pops had an ear for what was going around all the time, you know. He was overseas in Vietnam, like he, you know, mm-hmm. ex law enforcement, whatever. So he had an ear for things. He kicked the door open on them trying to get in. And they ran so fast because he started popping off as soon as, you know, the door opened. <laughs> Guess what? I had laying there waiting for me. He a goes, bike. Yeah. You know <laughs> 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 now I had my first win. <laughs> <Nice. laughs> yeah. I was like, hey, they must have learned a lesson that day. Don't, don't <laughs> look what they know. brought you. You <laughs> might walk away less than empty handed. <laughs> yeah. Look what yeah. they brought you, huh? <laughs> That's yeah. yeah, but thank you guys for tonight. It's always a, a pleasure to see your yeah. faces, to be able to thank talk. you, thank you, Jen. Yeah, I really appreciate Denise. You. Each and thank you, sister. Time. Thank you, house, for being you. Hey, thank Denise, I'm still waiting for my pizza, Denise. Your pizza, I know you yeah, heard what happened. You I know you heard. Pastor oh, no, said no. you guys bring me a pizza, man. I know you're you're, cl- you're a little bit closer, so you know you don't have to do it via air mail. You know, I delivered it. Too. <laughs> it was delivered. Right. Paid for everything. <laughs> you didn't get right. it. Let me do a few shout outs. Andrew, Jojo, Az, Spino. yes, Jojo, everybody, man. Thank you, Spino, man. No. Andrew, everybody, Monica, Big D, Chicano to Christine Diaz, yeah, Chicano to yes. everybody, Frank man. Thank you, Jean. Say hi to Mikey see, first. Yeah, Hello and Yes, shout out to Mikey. You guys check out Chicano Two for sure. Do not miss. And this is this is episode what? Yeah, I'm sorry. On episode, I believe we're on eighteen. Eighteen. Wow. We should do something for episode twenty. Like we gotta episode hit a, a little, have a little celebration of some. Yeah. Stuff. Let's do that. I'll plan something for twenty. We'll talk behind the scenes, you guys. That'd yeah. be cool. That'd yeah. be cool. Yeah. So much love. Shout out to everyone in the chat. We yes, yes. For have in. a blessed week, man. Stay safe. Yeah. Spread the love. Spread yep. the love. That's a good, a good water. Water. Spread the love. That's right. That's right. That's right. Same time next week, 6 30, Tuesday. We will see you guys then. And until then, yeah, you guys remember, spread the love. Buenas yes. noches. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Guys.